service. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's the way to do it. It's nice. Thanks for joining us today. Um, if you could just start by giving us a few comments about you know, what you're looking forward to the 2023 season. Obviously, mm -hmm. preseason's getting ready to get underway. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously, new coaching staff. Everyone's pretty excited. I'm excited. Obviously, new year. It's always good to have a fresh mindset going into the year, um, locked and ready to go, and hoping to make the U20 World Cup coming in May. So, something to look forward to. Hi, Kate. Abel Angiano from Area Sports Network. I wanted to ask you, uh, you know, what is the significance of this team, which has been through a lot in the last season, uh, now being led by a coach with World Cup experience? Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Uh, I feel great. I mean, obviously, he's got a lot of experience. He has a lot of experience with um, some of the best young players that he sent to Europe. So I, I'm, I'm pretty sure, speaking for everyone on the team, we're all really excited and we're all eager to get going. Hi, Kate. Alex Morgan from Quake's Epicenter. Uh, I'm wondering, you know, what you've taken away from your initial conversations with Lucci and the new coaching staff over the past few days, uh, and you know, what kind of style uh, that you're looking to play this season and, and changes that you, you might make tactically uh, this year? Yeah, it'll, it'll obviously be a little different than uh, Matias and under Alex a little bit, but uh, he hasn't, we haven't really got that far. We had our first meeting yesterday, and uh, obviously I'm missing training today, which is going to be a more tactical, but uh, tomorrow I'll get to know a little bit more. But I think it'll be pretty similar um, to more of like Alex, but I'm not sure really. We haven't got that far. Uh, Robert Jenis with Quake's Epicenter. Um, Kate, you're, you're just 19 years old. You've done a lot of growing up as a, as a player in this league. Um, MLS has put you front and center quite often as well, you know, being part of the all-star team, uh, you know, media appearances like today. Um, what does that do to you in terms of expectations for your uh, individual playing um, accomplishments? And, and what goals does that uh, set for you? I mean, you're, 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 you're a player that you know, continually comes up in trade and transfer talks, et cetera. There's a lot of, again, a lot of uh, you know, you know, talk around you. What, what has that done for you in terms of setting your own goals? Mm -hmm. um, you know, it makes you feel good, you know. You can't say it doesn't. Uh, it was a really cool experience to go to the All-Star game. It's, it's cool when you see that European teams are looking at you and they believe that you, you can, like, you're good enough at that level, you know. But at the end of the day, I'm like, focused on San Jose right now. And until that day comes, that's when I start focusing about it and uh, just try and stay steady-minded, just try and work hard as possible every day um, on and off the field, doing everything right. And that's really all there is to it. There's not much other than that, you know. It's, it's, it makes you feel good, though. Okay, I just wanted to know a little bit about um, how much of a, a difference a player like Jeremy have obviously made on coming onto the Quakes. Just a player that is, is well known around the league that has has had success in different cities, but uh, it seemed like you guys really kind of just mesh well, including him in the roster this mm -hmm. past season. Yeah, I mean, um, obviously coming from Wando, you know, he scores a lot of goals, so we needed someone like that, and he came in and stepped up really well. He came up as almost like a veteran. He's always talking to me, always coaching me, not just me, everyone. Um, very hardworking, very positive guy. So definitely needed um, him on the team, and he's been great for us. Yeah, KG, U20 World Cup is also on the calendar this year. Where does that kind of factor in for you goal-wise and kind of your expectations around that event, balancing that with, mm -hmm. with MLS? Yeah, it's definitely a huge goal um, that I have uh, for the past year, you know, trying to go to the, all these camps that I can, that um, try and make it work uh, with everything that the club released me and all that stuff. So I, I'm really looking forward to it. I hope I, in these couple camps coming up, I hope I can show well and I can get invited to that. Uh, Jeff Carlisle with ESPN. Um, you've been deployed, if memory serves, primarily out on the wing, 
but I mean, you, you kind of came through the Quake system as, as a forward. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, wh where are you feeling most comfortable on the field these days, and, and, and do you have a preference for, for where you line up? And obviously, I, I asked that with the fact that Jeremy is kind of occupying that number nine spot. Yeah, um, yeah, so ever since Jeremy came, I've been to the wing because we didn't really, um, there wasn't too many nine options, but I enjoyed playing nine, you score a lot more goals. Um, but on the wing, I, I'm probably, that's my best position. Um, I can just dribble a lot more. It's kind of just my more style. But um, pr pretty much anywhere up top, I'm, I'm comfortable with playing. AK, Ted Ramey, San Jose Earthquakes. Um, you got a really hot start in the 2021 season, but kind of cooled off, whereas last year you started cool and then got hotter as the year went on. You know, obviously those are two years where you had a lot thrust on you in terms of playtime, learned a lot. What are you taking from these last two years into this season and also with a new coach? Yeah, uh, I mean, like you said, how you go hot and cold this year, I'm really just like, not that I have to be hot all year, but just consistent, you know? If I'm scoring goals, I, I need to score goals consistently. If helping the team, I'm starting. If I'm starting, I want to start consistently. You know, all those little things I just want to do consistently. I feel like that's what I've been lacking um, since being with a pro, since being a pro. And it's pretty hard to do, but I feel like I'm mature enough now and I know enough that I know um, that I can do it. So that's really what I'm looking forward to this year. Thanks for taking another question, Kate. Um, there's been a fair amount of new additions in the locker room. Uh, how are they settling in, and what's, what's the vibe overall with the team right now? Um, yeah, I mean, we have two more Stanford guys, so they fit right in. You know, young group so far. I mean, we're all getting really along, and the first day yesterday was great. I mean, it seems like we've been together for a while, so everyone just fits right in. That's, that's like, the say the best thing about um, being here. The group is great. Okay, I know that you work a lot uh, during the off season. What are some of the things that you've been focusing on uh, and what are the improvements that you're looking to make, areas that you're working on heading to this season? Yeah, uh, I actually had a sports hernia all this off season, so I uh, had to take a lot of time off for that. Um, but I mean, what I would have done is obviously, like always, try and work in tight spaces, working with turning the ball in like first touch, all the little things with touches, you know. Um, getting better in front of goal, crossing, all those little things that involve like technique, I'll try and do that. So I'll do it all this preseason and hope that I can take it to the games. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time and good luck this season. Yep. Thank you, guys.